Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I want to show you guys a quick plugin. So basically this plugin is called Alien Skin Exposure 4. You can find it under alienskin.com and you can either buy it or get the trial version for 14 days. Now this plugin works for Photoshop and Lightroom for CS5 and CS6. Pretty easy to install, just double click on the program and it will install itself. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I'm just here on my original layer, as you guys can see, just imported it through Camera Raw. And I'm not going to create a duplicate today because we will work with the plugin and that will create its own layer. Okay, so select the original layer, we're going to go all the way over to Filter and to find this plugin, you're going to go to Alien Skin Exposure 4. Select that. And you'll see a complete new window will pop up and in here you are now able to work in this plugin. So over here I just have a rough adjustment already. I'm just going to change a few things so we can start from scratch. Okay, so basically overall this is how the plugin looks like. And on the left hand side you've got generally just your layer that you imported so we have our original layer. Underneath of that you've got some factory and some user settings if you saved some of your presets already. If not they will be all under factory like mine are at the moment. Then you got some settings under here where you can choose actually if you want to see all presets, color or black and white or if you want to search for a preset. Now if I'm going to go to color you will directly see how the presets down here change already so you will just have all your color presets. Let's go back to all and we can see all our presets. Then down here is a save button if you want to save a preset that you created on your own you can just hit save and you can rename it and it will be saved under your user settings. We're going to do that in a minute. Let's go back to factory. Okay, down here you've or in the middle actually you've got your preview window and to see what you're actually doing to your image and what the preset is looking like that you're working on at the moment. Down here a move button, a zoom button, also fit to screen size. Then also in the middle here, which is pretty nice, you can choose between a before and after screen. So I'm going to choose the middle one here and now I've got my before and after to see what I'm doing. Then also some blog updates and some info from the web website. Then on the right hand side we've got again a few adjustment sliders like in Camera Raw or Lightroom. So on the right hand side you can just tweak your adjustments again to tweak and fine tune your preset as well. Alright so let's get going on this. First of all on the left hand side here we're just going to choose a random preset now. So today I'm not going to worry about my image and the way it looks like. I just want to show you guys how this plugin functions and what you're able of doing in this plugin. Alright, so over here, cinema look, I'm just going to go in here and maybe say bleach bypass. Okay, I'm going to select the first bleach bypass and also if I'm going to scroll through here, you can directly see here at the top what is actually, what the preset actually looks like. So this one has scratches. If you're going to select it, it will also show up in here. This is actually pretty nice. Let's work with this one today. So it's going to call Technique Color Process 2 Fader and so on scratches. Okay, select that. I'm just going to minimize this a little bit. And now let's go to our right hand side. So overall as well, you can see our before and after ready. But now the nice thing is in this preset or in this whole plugin, you can now fine tune your preset, which is pretty handy. Okay, so over in color and in here color intensity, I want to keep that to 100%. Then film type, if you want to keep it to color, you can keep it to color or choose also black and white, which will give you a black and white adjustment. I'm going to go back to color and now under color filter, you've got a few adjustments to tweak in here. But what is really nice, you can actually choose again from a preset. So over here, go to presets and in here say color filter. You want to have a little bit of cooling filter or you want to have a cyan, green, whatever you want to have. I'm just going to say blue now for the moment and now the nice thing is you can actually tweak that preset again. So if you say it's a little bit too much blue or a little bit too warm, a little bit too cool, you can actually change that a little bit and move it all a bit over to get a bit warmer effect. Then down here color saturation, again a complete new window or win uh, section here. Again a few adjustments from master in the shadows, midtones, highlights and you can also work in different color palettes. Then also here presets Pretty nice again, you've got again a few presets to choose from. So if I'm going to move here just randomly through, I'm just going to see, okay, this one looks pretty nice. I'm going to choose this preset, Fade All, Preserve Highlights. So in here, I can actually then again tweak a little bit my masters again, my midtones, my highlights, and so on. 
Next step that we can do is go to tones. So say in tones you want to tweak the tones a little bit. So you can go actually again into your adjustment over here. This will just apply onto the tones. So again, you've got some presets to choose from. Say we're going to say low contrast or harsh landscape. Okay, I'm going to select that. Now if you want to, you can work in different um, RGB channels again, or you can just tweak your curve over here and also tweak down here just with some sliders. So if you prefer the sliders and not the curve, then you can go down here and slide that. Then split toning, if you want to work with that, we're going to say yes today. So in here, again, some presets to work with. I'm just going to select a really random one. This one looks pretty nice. Creamy highlights, cyan shadows. Okay, so I'm going to select that. And in here, I can again change my strength and also change the color a little bit, which is also pretty nice. Okay, that's good. Then we're going to go to focus. In focus, again, just roughly show you guys, okay, some presets just to go get a glamour shot, a lens warp or sharpen or whatever. You can just, again, choose a different preset. I'm going to select off now and just sharpen my amount self a little bit. So just take my amount up a little bit and my radius down. Threshold, I'm not going to work with that. And if you want to create some blur over here, you can just change your opacity and create some really random blur over there which I'm not going to do now, so I'm going to take it all the way down again and keep it like that. Then if you want to add some grain, we're going to go over here in grain. I'm not going to play too much with this, but as you guys can see again, you've got your presets over here. You can choose some presets over all grain strength if you want to. I'm just going to take this down a little bit. Then also amount in the shadows, in the midtones, in the highlights, how much you want it in there. Type, if you want to have rough color variations, push processing, and so on size. Oh, this is pretty nice actually if you want to create a grain effect. Then ER, if you want to just change your presets in here again a little bit, or you want to add a little bit of a color contrast, or halation opacity, I'm not working too much with this, but maybe see what this will give us, just a little bit of a glow, like a high push highlight effect. And also then the next age, which is again a little bit of vignetting. So in here again, I do have a little bit of a vignetting effect already from the scratching effect here. If you want to, you can choose again from some presets over here. So say for instance, we're just going to select the first one and also tweak our amount a little bit down. Okay, that's a little bit too much. It's getting brighter actually. Okay, size, randomness, softness, distortion, lump size, and so on. You can again tweak that vignetting pretty nice, which is pretty, pretty handy. Then last step down here, which I also want to show you textures. Under texture, you got again some presets. I actually have already dust and scratch to select. I think this is because of the preset. We already selected this presets with scratches and so on. So they already selected a preset under our texture here as well. But if we go in here, you can actually say off. Now it's completely gone as you guys can see, or if you're going to select it again and so on. And protect center. If you want to protect your center a little bit, I don't want to protect the center at all at the moment so I'm going to keep it to zero. So in here as you guys can see you've got a few options to just tweak and adjust that preset again which is pretty pretty nice. Okay so let's do the last step I'm going to go over here to hit save and down here in save it's going to give us some adjustments already if you want to save it under that settings name I want to actually save it under that settings name and just say OK and now under users you will find it under this preset name already if you want to you can also rename it to your own preset name if that if you feel more comfortable with that I'm going to keep it for that at the moment and last step that we're going to do is hit OK so now Photoshop is actually preparing it or that plugin is rendering it and bringing it back into Photoshop. Okay, so as you guys can see, now we have our before and after on a complete own new layer. And if you want to, you can still go ahead and now tweak this layer again, change the opacity, do some adjustment layers and so on. Just go on with your Photoshopping or either with Lightroom. So this is pretty handy to just have this plugin. You can tweak everything in there and it will just render it and bring it in as a complete new own layer, which is pretty handy. So that was my quick tutorial for today, guys. If you still have any questions, please email me to team at manyphotography.co.za. I'm very happy to help you guys with your questions. And now, please, if you guys still have any wishes for the future upcoming tutorials, if you want to see something specific, please leave me a comment down below. I will be happy to do some tutorials on that. Thank you guys for watching and see you all next week in another tutorial. Bye-bye.